calm has now returned to the streets of Maputo, where at least seven people were killed this week and more than 200 injured. The clashes were sparked by a 30% rise in bread prices, a huge hike for a country with an average wage of $37 a month. There are new fears the trouble could spread as developing countries struggle to pay for imported food. Meat prices have hit a 20-year high and Russia has extended a wheat export ban into next year. Countries in North Africa and the Middle East rely heavily on wheat imports and Russia is traditionally the fourth largest exporter. Wheat prices are 50% higher than they were in May. Analyst Sudakshin Oni Krishnan from Barclays Capital say the market is jittery. Just the very fact that we could have export curbs or governmental intervention in the greens markets made the markets quite nervous. And I think keeping in mind that Russia actually did put a green ban in place till the end of this year and now has extended that into 2011, has really made the market stand up and take notice of the fact that the supply side issues are not really as short term as uh, you know, the market was expecting. Food shortages in 2007 and 2008 triggered similar protests to those in Mozambique. People took to the streets in Egypt and Somalia during what was the worst food crisis for three decades. Talk of a new crisis are widespread, but only Krishnanen says the situation doesn't mirror what happened three years ago. Really, we're, we're at much more comfortable levels globally. We have you know, stocks being between 40 to 45 percent higher than they were at that point. So no cause for concern that we're going back to 07 08. But certainly the view is that we could see further upside from current levels simply because we've had a pretty stark alteration in terms of supply and demand balances in just a few months. The UN's Food and Agriculture Organization also said global grain supplies are solid after two years of plentiful crops. But with around one billion people living on less than two dollars a day, it's the world's poorest who are likely to feel the impact of any rise in the cost of their daily bread. Basma Fahim, Reuters.